From the Joyce Center in South Bend, Indiana, this is TarHillIllustrated.com. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones going solo with you here. Notre Dame 77, Tar Heel 76, finished about an hour and a half ago. This is a script that has been written many times this year. In fact, somebody in the press room said after the game, rinse or wash, rinse, repeat. That's kind of what this team has dealt with. I don't know how you can, you can't make this up. If you would have said two months ago, hire me some Hollywood screenwriters, have them go at it, figure out what would be just the most demoralizing way for this season to go on the basketball court for North Carolina, I don't think they could have come up with another buzzer beater, another loss in the last couple of seconds of a game. That's five games they've lost in the last six or six games they've lost in the last six weeks in which there were buzzer beater last second shot situations to either win the game for the opponent or send it in overtime which the opponent eventually won. Duke did it twice in unbelievable fashion. That's what this team is. It's more than that but that's part of what this team is. Andrew Playtech and a few players said Saturday night when Virginia's shot went up that hey we knew it was going to go in. I don't know if they thought that tonight. Nobody asked them. We only talked to a couple players in the locker room, but I got the sense that, well, maybe they didn't think it, but they're not surprised that it did go in once it did. What's really unfortunate for the Tar Heels is that you can say you're snake bit, you can say you have bad luck, but when you blow leads and when you blow double-digit leads in the second half and lose games as a result, many of which ended up with these buzzer-beating situations, in the end, you only have yourself to blame. Tar Heels used a 19-5 run to open the second half today, and they built a big lead. They were up 62-47 to with 9.09 left. You're supposed to win when you're up 62-47 to with 9.09 left. I don't care who you're playing. I don't care what your past is. I don't care what transpired to get to that point in the game. You're supposed to win those games. Tar Heels didn't. Notre Dame closed 30-14, three-pointer with 2.4 seconds left. Irish win. Tar Heels lose their six consecutive game they are all they're owing six in this stretch with Cole, since Cole Anthony came back in fact Cole Anthony has lost eight straight games in uniform he hadn't won a game since the day after Thanksgiving in uniform on the positive side Garrison Brooks he had an amazing game today he was a beast if you go back last week when he first put the goggles on after the scratch retina against Duke no field goals against Wake Forest he had 20 Saturday night against Virginia, he put 22 up tonight, going up against a real good big, big man in John Mooney, who I think will play in the NBA. Excellent performance for Garrison, scoring on all kinds of spots on the floor like he did the other night. The variety in his game is impressive, and he is really building himself up to the point where he's going to have an opportunity down the road to certainly get a long look by somebody at the next level. But he's just a junior. He'll be back next year as a senior, and all the good things he's doing right now, the growth in his game, are things that will connect to next year. And when you're 10 and 16, and you've lost six in a row, and the NIT is not even a possibility, you have to, as Carolina fans, you, you need to look for small snippets of things that will carry over positively in the next season. And clearly, the play of Garrison Brooks is something that you can look forward to seeing him connect to next season when that plethora of talent comes in. And the last thing is, Tar Heels actually did a lot of good things tonight. Just like they did against UVA, they did a lot of good things tonight. There was a stretch where they were up 10-0 in fast break points. They were up 14-4 in second chance points. They had an 18 uh, rebound advantage at one point. I do not know the final numbers on that one. There were some problems with the stat sheet. So uh, hopefully that'll be fixed by the time I get back upstairs uh, after doing this video. They did a lot of things really well. That 19-5 run, like I said, and it wasn't just an offensive part of the run. They actually had a stretch defensively where Notre Dame had three straight possessions and they didn't even get a shot. They, a shot didn't even hit the rim. They had a, uh, a shot clock, well, an air ball, which would have been a shot clock violation, but Carolina rebounded it in time and started pushing. The refs let it play. Then there was a steal that led to a leaky black dunk, and then there was a block shot. So in that sequence, it wasn't just offensive. For a team that has struggled at times, and certainly struggled late tonight, especially defending the dribble drive, uh, that is something that they can take a look at, pull out, and say, hey, we did something well, we can build on this. When you're 10 and 16, you've got to find things like that to keep you going. Cole Anthony said afterward that they're getting better, they're getting close, they're going to start winning some of these games. 
Well, they have five more opportunities left in the regular season and then at least one game in the ACC tournament in Greensboro. We'll see if they can put together the, the stretches of positive play that we've seen most of the last month and maybe extend it for more than 30 minutes or 34 minutes and actually put together a complete game. If they do that, they can beat a lot of people, but they haven't shown that they can really do that very often. Notre Dame 77, North Carolina 76. From the Joyce Center, this is Andrew Jones. You've been watching Tar Heel Illustrated.com and Tar Heel Illustrated on YouTube. Go ahead and click like and subscribe to our channel so you can get all the notifications, everything that we bring to you here on THI. Thanks.